Cryptography Concepts This topic focuses on protecting data by converting it into an unreadable format using encryption techniques. Think of it like sending a secret message through the mail. Only the person with the right key can read it. Cryptography is the foundation of secure communications, whether over email, websites, or stored files. It involves key elements like confidentiality, integrity, and authenticity, and uses methods like symmetric and asymmetric encryption. You'll encounter terms like plaintext, ciphertext, keys, and algorithms, all part of this protective system. The goal is to ensure sensitive data remains private, even if intercepted. Attackers aim to break cryptographic protections. Defenders rely on them to secure everything from passwords to transactions. Understanding cryptography is essential for ethical hacking. It's both a shield and a target. It's how digital trust is built and why cybersecurity professionals must master how it works, how it's used, and how it's attacked. Encryption algorithms. This topic covers the mathematical rules used to scramble data into unreadable ciphertext and reverse it when needed. It's like putting a letter in a coded language. Only someone who knows the pattern can decode it. These algorithms are critical in protecting data both in transit and at rest. They're categorized as symmetric, like EES, and asymmetric, like RSA, each with unique use cases. Symmetric uses one key for both encryption and decryption. Asymmetric uses public and private key pairs. The choice depends on speed, security, and application. Think VPNs, SSL, or file encryption. Output from encryption looks like gibberish unless decrypted with the correct key. Attackers may try brute force, dictionary, or known plaintext attacks. Defenders select strong algorithms and manage keys carefully to avoid compromise. A solid grasp of encryption algorithms helps us understand both secure data handling and how encryption can be broken or misused. Cryptography tools. This topic focuses on the utilities used to perform real-world encryption, decryption, and secure data handling. Imagine sealing a document in a safe. The tools here are both the safe and the key mechanism. In practice, these tools are used to secure files, generate certificates, and manage cryptographic keys. Let's use OpenSSL, a widely adopted command line tool for encryption and key generation. We encrypt a sensitive text file using strong symmetric encryption with a passphrase-based key. The output prompts us to enter and confirm a password. This encrypts the file securely. This proves that even simple tools can apply strong cryptography effectively. Attackers may try to crack such encrypted files if keys are weak. Defenders rely on these tools to protect data at rest or in motion. In short, cryptography tools are essential to implement theory. They bring secure practices into real-world operations. Public Key Infrastructure PKI is the structured system for managing digital certificates and public-private key pairs securely. Think of it like a notary system. It verifies identities and signs digital documents as trustworthy. PKI is crucial for authentication, secure email, SSL certificates, and VPNs. It consists of certificate authorities, registration authorities, key pairs, and certificate revocation lists. The system binds public keys with verified identities to build trust across the network. Without PKI, there would be no standard way to confirm that a public key belongs to a valid user. Attackers may try to forge certificates or exploit weak certificate chains. Defenders rely on PKI for secure communication, signed code, and identity assurance. Understanding PKI is essential to navigate secure infrastructure design and analyze trust relationships in a network. Email encryption. This topic focuses on protecting email contents and verifying sender authenticity using encryption. It's like sealing a letter in a locked envelope that only the recipient can open. Encrypted emails prevent eavesdropping, spoofing, and tampering during transmission. We'll demonstrate with GPG, a popular open source tool that uses public key encryption. We encrypt an email message to a recipient using their public key, ensuring only they can decrypt it. The output confirms encryption with the correct key ID and email identity. This shows that message confidentiality and sender validation are enforced. Attackers may intercept or spoof emails, but encryption breaks that chain. Defenders use email encryption to maintain integrity and protect sensitive communications. Whether for personal privacy or business security, 
Securing email is a critical skill in ethical hacking. Disk encryption. This topic focuses on encrypting entire drives or partitions to protect stored data from unauthorized access. Think of it like locking all your files in a vault. Even if stolen, they remain unreadable. Disk encryption secures data at rest, even if the system is powered off or the drive removed. Solutions like BitLocker, Veracrypt, and LUKS are commonly used to achieve full disk protection. They operate below the OS layer and often use TPM or passphrase to unlock during boot. The result is a seamless but secure boot process that protects against physical theft or forensic attacks. Attackers may attempt cold boot attacks or key extraction, but encryption drastically raises the bar. Defenders rely on disk encryption to secure laptops, servers, and backups. It's a foundational control in both enterprise and personal data security, and a vital part of secure system design. Cryptanalysis. This topic explores the science of breaking encryption by analyzing the cipher or its implementation. Think of it like solving a puzzle. Given enough clues, the hidden message can be revealed. Cryptanalysis is how attackers test the strength of encryption algorithms or exploit implementation flaws. Methods include brute force, differential, linear, and side-channel attacks, depending on the target. It requires deep mathematical understanding, but also creativity and persistence. The outcome is either full decryption, key recovery, or reducing the effort needed to break the system. Attackers use cryptanalysis to bypass protections. Defenders study it to strengthen systems. Understanding how encryption fails is essential to knowing how to make it work. Cryptanalysis doesn't just test encryption. It drives innovation by exposing weaknesses and pushing algorithms to evolve. Cryptography Attack Countermeasures This topic covers how to defend encrypted systems from brute force, key theft, or algorithmic flaws. It's like adding motion sensors, guards, and better locks to protect a secure vault. Proper cryptography doesn't stop at strong algorithms. It requires secure key storage, updates, and correct use. Key countermeasures include using long, random keys, rotating them, and securing transmission and storage. We also use hashing for integrity, HSMs for key protection, and multi-factor access control. These strategies block common attack vectors and raise the difficulty of successful cryptanalysis. Attackers often exploit weak key practices or flawed implementations, not the math itself. Defenders focus on operational hygiene and adherence to cryptographic standards. To protect data effectively, countermeasures must be built in, not bolted on. It's how encryption moves from theoretical protection to actual security, a cornerstone of resilient systems.